Hey yo, what up people? This is your boy Jay Sanjay Kex and today we are back with another video. And for today's video guys, I have for you today a pair of Nike Dong Lows. These are called the uh, Baroque Brown, uh, whatever, we don't care about the name. But on today's video guys, we're going to review this pair of Nike Dong Lows that looks super super nice but we're going to see everything about it we're going to review the shoe talk a little bit about the quality some aspect of the shoe show you how this look on feet but before we go into all that please let me ask you to go and hit the thumbs up if you're liking the content also go and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already activate that notification bell so you can be notified whenever i upload a new video which is every single day guys so, so go follow me on my Instagram and on TikTok as Jason J Cakes. And now let's begin this video. This Nike Dunk Lows comes with a regular Nike Dunk Low box, the orange box with the white Nike branding, a little similar to the one that we have for the Junum ones, but it's a little different. I mean, you probably already seen this box a million times, but then we have the shoes that has nothing to do with the orange box because the shoe, as you can see, is a brown and white shoe. I know some people will like to have like the, 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 the tribe's name attached to this one because apparently now every brown shoe has something to do with Travis, but I like this shoe, Travis Vive or not. I like it because these earth tone colors, I really feel like are super, super nice. According to this tag, this shoe is made with at least 20% of recycled content, which means that um, the material used for this one is recycled. Yeah, that's what the tag says. So um, let me remove this tag for the purpose of the video because I don't want that that, that thing messing up with, with my, uh, my footage. So, what do we get on these, on these shoes? Well, it's, by the way, a colorway that I've been waiting in a pro Jordan 1 Lowe's for years. But thanks God, we're going to get the dark mocha Lowe's this year. Not this um, Chicago color blocking, but the black toe color blocking that we're going to get on the Jordan 1 low on um, dark mochas. But if you like Nike Dunk Lows better, I think you're gonna be really happy with this one because this is a super nice shoe that, by the way, is sitting full size in the Nike app right now. I got this one and I'm waiting for um, the other one that has um, like the invert colors, the dust one. I'm waiting for those as well. So if you want to see that video, make sure to be subscribed guys, because you know your boy is gonna bring you that dope content that nobody else is gonna do it because I'm not only reviewing high shoes, I'm reviewing all kinds of shoes like this. Shoes that a lot of people overlook, but here you're going to get the content because you know, it is what it is. Man, I gotta say that as dope as they look, I really like the colorway and color blocking on the shoe. The material that they use for this one disappointed me a little bit because in the pictures, I thought this was going to be like a nice pebble tumble leather, but it's just the texture of the, of the leather. The leather don't feel soft at all, actually feels really synthetic. And they kind of say it right here, you know? It's not like they are doing like false advertisement or something like that. They say it right here, it's recycled materials, but the way it looks in picture is a lot better than the way it is when it comes to the material. This sway right here is not smooth sway, it doesn't have that transitional color changing or anything like that, which is like um, the only area that I was not fully happy with when it comes to the shoe because it's a really beautiful shoe and if Nike would have like implemented better material on this one, this will be a 10 out of 10. But that's when it comes to the material of the shoe. But when it comes to the way the shoe look, I mean, look at this. This is a really beautiful shoe, really elegant shoe. I mean, you can go with this shoe anywhere. And even though the material on this one are not premium or anything close to that, it's not like they're not gonna do the job. I mean, you can wear this shoe perfectly to any occasion. The shoe is not gonna fall apart or anything like that. And it's gonna look just this good. It's not every day that we have such a beautiful and elegant pair of Nike Dunk Lows 
that we can take to any occasion. Brown is what we got right here on the suede areas of the shoe. Then we have the Nike swoosh in black. We have white on the toe and white on the side panel as well as right here on the mesh material that we have for the ankle area. On the sug liner, we're going to get um, brown. For the insole, we're also going to get brown as well. And we have the Recycle logo on the insole of the shoe. That's the Nike Recycle logo that we have right there. Take a look at that. For the midsole of the shoe, we have a sale midsole, something that Nike has been doing nearly every time they do a brown shoe. And yes, they did it on this one again. And in my opinion, in my opinion, it looks good. I like the sale combined with the brown. I like that color. Some people might be a little tired of the sale on the midsole, but in my opinion, still dope. I like it. And it's probably because I'm the kind of person that I wear my shoes. That's that's what I'm trying to say. I wear my shoes. And the shoes are gonna look like this over time anyway. So that's not something that really bothers me. For the outsole of the shoe, we have black outsole, which is simply amazing because this outsole won't look super nasty when you wear the shoes because it's black and it's super hard to mess up a black outsole. Probably the, the, the only um, other outsole that is better than the black one is the gum bottom, but I don't think the gum bottom will look nice with this colorway. So black outsole on this shoe is what we're going to get. Also, we're going to get black on the back of the shoe where we have the white Nike branding. More black right here for the Nike branding on the white tongue tag. The tongue of the shoe is white. The laces that the shoe comes with are these um, brown laces. I, I really feel this shoe will look super dope with white laces as well. Uh, sorry, I didn't have that much time to do a lace swap today, but stay tuned because I'm going to show you later how these shoes look with white laces. I promise you that video is coming, guys. Stay tuned for that. On feet, these babies simply look fantastic because that's basically everything about this shoe. The way it looks, the colorway, the color blocking. This shoe is simple, simple, very easy to wear. Any occasion, I said it, on any occasion, you can go with this one and you're simply going to look good. You're going to look elegant. Whatever that you're trying to do with this shoe, you can simply do it. Low cat shoes always look good. And I don't know, maybe I'm getting it all bad. I, I love um, low cat shoes. That's why um, these type of shoes and the Jordan 1 Low, which is my favorite low cat shoes, I'm always excited every time I see a dub colorway like this. This one, in my opinion, in the Jordan 1 low will be simply amazing. But on the Nike Dunk lows, they look good as well. I went through the size on this one. That's my best um, sizing tips recommendation for this one. Go through the size. Same size I do on my Jordan 1. So that's the same size I do for the um, Nike Dunk lows as well. So if you want to know which is the best size for you, my best, best recommendation is simply go to your local store, try a pair right there. I'm pretty sure you're going to get some um, Nike Dunk Low sitting in store. So go right there, try a pair of these, and that way you're going to know which is the best size for you guys. Thank you a lot for watching the video. Let me know your opinion about these Nike Dunk Lows, Baroque Brown, Brown, Mocha, whatever name you want to call these Nike Dunk Lows. Yeah. Let me know your opinion about them, guys. Thank you again for watching the video. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Activate the notifications so YouTube notify you every time I upload a new video, which is, I already told you, every single day, guys. Leave a like for your boy so you help me a lot. Just by leaving a like, and it's totally free, and it's only gonna take one second of a time to leave a like, so leave a like for your boy so you can help me a lot with the YouTube algorithm. Also, share your opinion right there in the comment section because the comments also help the video a lot. And if you want to know more about me and my content outside of YouTube, make sure to follow me right here on my Instagram. It's Jason J. Kicks. I'm always uploading videos, picture, sneaker information like shock drop, early access, all the upcoming releases. You're going to know about the first right here on my Instagram, Jason J. Kicks. Thank you again for watching the video, guys, and until the next one. Look at the shoe. Look at the shoe. Let me know your opinion about it. I really feel it's beautiful. <laughs> Goodbye.